All right, good morning, folks. Welcome to another round of coffee and questions. What's today's topic going to be? Now, in the past videos, we talked about MIG pliers, regular pliers, and we talked about hammers, where you can get them cheap and how you can get started, you know, accumulating your own set of tools for welding projects and forming sheet metal and doing different things, and you can do it rather inexpensively. So in this video, let's talk about clamps. Now, in particular, I'm going to talk about C-clamps, like this. And I have a whole bunch of them. Uh, a couple of these are made by Craftsman. Let me see, Craftsman. And I'm not even sure where some of these are made. The name's worn off. I mean, I got them in different sizes now. I came across a lot of these at a garage sale. I paid about a buck a piece for these next to nothing, and I didn't need them because I already had a few, but I thought. I can't pass up the deal. I went ahead and got them. Okay, what about for you? Now, I also bought some off of Amazon, and that's, like I say, I always refer to Amazon because I do a lot of shopping on Amazon, and I keep things in kind of a watch list, and I wait to see if they go on sale, and when they do or they discount them, I then go ahead and I buy them. And there was a time where some of these were on sale. I'll leave you the link below to the other ones that I bought. Now, Another place you can go, of course, is Harbor Freight. I mean, there's nothing wrong with their C-clamps. I've got a few of them here. They're in a much smaller size. So I have different size C-clamps because you'll find on different projects, this is way too big. These, even though they're different sizes, still they're still kind of too big, sometimes for smaller projects where I really need that clamping strength. Harbor Freight happens to sell them. They are inexpensive and they work, okay? So we all shop out at Harbor Freight. Everybody makes fun of Harbor Freight for having, you know, cheap, junky tools. They're throwaway, they're this, they're that. I don't believe these C-clamps are. I've had them for years now and I got them out at Harbor Freight, the smaller ones, because I got the bigger ones, like I said, from the garage sale. So this is something else you add to the arsenal of your welding stuff and they will come in handy from time to time. I don't do welding every day. I'm like I keep saying in the videos, I have a full time job. I'm a DIYer, home hobbyist, but I've accumulated these over time. Okay, and you can too. And not to say you're going to find them at a garage sale like I did, I got lucky. Okay, but had I not gotten lucky, I would have bought the ones. Let me show you right now the ad off Amazon. Okay, that was the ad off Amazon. Now the other ones, here are the ones from out at Harbor Freight. Take a look at these. Okay, there's nothing wrong with the ones out at Harbor Freight. So maybe you don't get the garage sale deal. I would, I would have, and I did, actually go out and get the ones at Harbor Freight. They're a good tool. Um, they really are, and they will stand up. I mean, we're not professional fabricators. We don't have a full-blown machine shop or welding shop. You know, if you're home hobbyist, DIY, or auto, you know, like working on autos, whatever, those ones from Harbor Freight, they're going to work fine for you. That's all I got to say. And I mean, and you can check the links below on the other ones. Otherwise, check out at your Harbor Freight next time you go, and you still get the coupon discount, right? Okay. I'm the Home Handyman. I hope you click subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this one. I try to get right to the point. No long intros. If you know of something better, put it in the comment below and let everybody know where you can go buy them. Otherwise, I will keep doing these one piece at a time. So like I said, we've done the pliers, we've done the hammers, now we've done C-clamps. Okay, so I'll see you on the next video. I'll pick another topic and we'll keep building on this and we'll help you get to where you got a good arsenal of tools for your welding projects. Like I said, you can always use them on other projects too. Doesn't have to be just welding. See you folks on the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.